Yeah. Yeah, buddy. All right, y'all. So today is the very next day after our whole overview thing of the whole wonderful. But today, which I didn't expect, a couple of items that I bought for the wonderful has come in today. So I thought I'd show you guys before I get too cozy and then don't talk about it. But I only got a couple things, not a lot. I end up getting this um, thing here. I already pre-opened them because of address issues and stuff like that. But this is what I bought. Hopefully, that's gonna be a good bike lock alternative. I know most people was getting like the U-lock horseshoe shaped one. And I didn't really care for that one as much. Also, the cable one, I hear people breaking into those still. Even with the U-lock, I heard of people actually somehow wiggling through those too. So I was hoping this would be a good alternative. And then it's a folding lock. So let no So let me try to open this and kind of show you how it works. Pretty much. When I got it out the box, it was sitting in this. This is what the actual lock looks like. And you can actually attach this to your stroller. I don't know how yet. I don't know if it's a screw situation, a zip tie situation. I don't know, but I'll figure that out very soon. Um, but I do know that it came inside of this little attachment. So this is what it's supposed to generally looks like, attached to whatever. And then you take it out just by pulling that up. And then you just put the key inside of this and then push down and turn and it pops up like that. And you pretty much just look for the bottom where the orange is, the part that's actually locked into the system. Mm -hmm. Pull off of that and unwrap it. So this whole thing is the chain. And then you was essentially It's not even that deep. And then you'll just find this little slot right here, put the orange part in it, and then push down on this. If it's not pushing down, it's probably not in there right. And that's how it locks. Next, I got this cargo net. So I just kind of went on a limb and hoping that this fits properly. I don't know yet. So this is another thing that we're gonna see if it works out properly. But essentially, if you don't know and you don't follow the wonderful community, Pretty much this is to help hold the bigger item stuff, wet items. I've seen people put that umbrella stroller on the side of their wonderful toys, books, beach towels, anything in the side, or even the actual chair. You're not always going to use the second chair all the time. So I've seen people to get it out of the way, if they have like a sleeping baby, they want to put them on the floor or whatever, they'll actually put a seat inside of this. And the last thing I got was this thing over here behind me. And it's just because really I'm extra. But this is, as you can see, obviously it's an LED light, but this is a, a waterproof one. And I just got this for underneath to be kind of cool when we're at parks or different situation that we're rolling through with LED lights. One thing I thought was cool about this one is one, to take batteries so you can hide the battery pack. Two, the light changing system doesn't have a remote. It's actually on here. And then it just has an on and off switch here. So what I'm gonna do is try to put this stuff on and then go from there. All right, let's start off by attempting to put this on. It already looks like it's slightly longer. The one that's from Wonderful is 28 inches. This is 32 inches. So I'm probably going to have to make shift for it to work. So I don't know. We're just going to attempt. I already had these tiny, tiny little zip ties. So I don't know what I'm doing. We're just going to make it work. We fake it till we make it over here. Example. I can hang off the side like that. 
I know some people put theirs at the bottom so it don't look cluttered here. That could be another alternative for the second one. This is how I got it on here as of right now. Chained up like this. I like how it kind of blends in. Is that how y'all would lock it up? Is how y'all would suggest it? I don't know. I think I'm going to make a post on the wonderful website and then see what people say. Alright, time for this. Look like I might need to zip tie it too. Because this might not be sticky enough. It just looks like I'm just gonna have to do some playing around with everything. Definitely get some zip ties for everything. And then I think we'll be good to go. The next accessories that I'm probably gonna be looking into getting is the canopies coming. We both not sure about that, but it was a drunken decision. Floor mats and a rain cover. And yeah, so I'm just gonna be collecting little things as I go. I just wanted to film the quick little video um, what I have gotten today. I'm actually gonna be preparing to go into work. But before I actually go, let me show David what everything looks like. So David's finally in here. I'll show him everything that I did. Uh, ultimately, I just put this cargo net on the side. Mm -hmm. This is just like a catch-all. You can put the seats on the side, anything on the side. You see I put this net tray. Can you put groceries in there? I wouldn't know until you try, but I don't know what the tension is like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not, I don't want to. No way No. No way You little thief. Ooh. It turns off these. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> oh, you put them on the underneath it. Oh, it's glowing. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice, babe. I didn't know where you where you were putting the lights at, but I like it. Now we're gonna have to take this stroller out at night. Yeah. So I have to figure like when we at the park since it's like nighttime. Yeah. You turn it on. Be like cool little thing. Oh, guess we're gonna have to go to St. Pete Pier. <laughs> So, yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, your girl gotta go because she works overnight. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you guys. So, today is a very important day because today is the day that we are officially turning Noelle's car seat. Noelle just turned two. I'm not really sure the weight, but she's starting to get cramped. And this is roughly around the time that we turn Nala's seat. It is that time. It is that energy. I am excited for it because she is getting big. And two, it makes it a lot easier to hand her things. She's not out of loop. And it's going to create more space in our van. So let's go ahead and go outside so we can get this thing shut popping because your girl is ready. Okay, ready. Now, this is what the car seats are looking like now as far as the orientation of them. But, you see, that is Nala's and this is Noelle. As you can see, 
Noel's take up quite a bit of space so when we have people it's really hard to actually get in the back seat I had to move that paper over because it was just looking all types of crazy but um, we would generally have to do like pull that seat forward and then hit this notch back here and then that leads you into the back seat that's the wagon back there just in case if you're wondering it does fit we no longer use the camera piece that we had it's still up there on the dashboard but we don't really use it anymore because it's not really that necessary so yeah it's really that time i'm super excited and i'm super excited to see how she feels about being in it she is actually at the point now where she can climb in a chair by herself so a regular chair she can climb in by herself and right now we got the booster seat in the dining room chairs and she could also climb in that by herself as well as nala so i feel like she's more than ready and capable of being turned i don't really know what her weight is right now but I'm almost certain it's at least uh, 40 pounds. And my thing says 40 pounds or two years old. So uh, last time I got checked a couple of months ago, she was like 36 pounds, 37 pounds. And that was probably like three months ago. So yeah, I'm not really concerned with that. But let's get this thing turned. And probably later I will end up showing you um, me putting her in it. But yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. Let's just rip the bandaid off and get it done all right so hopefully this is better i had to get a little different camera angle but yeah if i haven't said this before i got the maxi cozy convertible car seat magellan two in one um at the time we got it on black friday i believe it was like a hundred or something dollars i think regular price is like three almost four hundred dollars i believe i don't know to be daring baby dance the night away i let my head down if i want don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time doesn't sound like fun you can do better let me show you what a good time looks like you can do better so much better All right, so it's officially done and tight. As you see, it's not moving. And then I like that my chair has these armrests because it's extra, extra little something. So ultimately, I just had to put my foot on it and sit in it and pull at the neck. And then I just readjusted this seat because it was kind of, it was kind of hovering a little bit yeah that's that i got it done so so much more space in here look Let me show you guys i just had the tripod up on that corner so that's how you were able to see but look at the difference sorry if i'm so winded but so much better so much space so much walk through now the only thing i gotta do now is actually clean out my car <laughs> i think i'm gonna probably clean these out and put these in the washer since I gotta wash some clothes but ultimately this is really the situation now I just gotta see how she likes it and feel about it the girls are sleeping well not even sleeping they are on their tablets right now now I gotta put the van back in the driveway because the lighting's so bright you wouldn't even be able to see that and yo, I was getting ready to pull the car back out. <laughs> and let me know if I'm not the only one. But I was like yesterday years old. Let me turn off this. I was yesterday years old when I found out that our steering wheel, when you adjust it up and down, if I can find it. Oh, it's right here. Adjust it up and down, that actually could come out and in. Did y'all know that? Because I feel like I didn't get the tutorial. That wasn't in my manual. I feel like the uh, people who be selling cars don't even be teaching no more. It used to be that when you get your car, right? The salesman would be so excited for the sale that he just be like, give you the whole rundown. You got it, baby? You need help?
<laughs> Nala, you you come back here. No love goes up there. She like to think she's a driver for some reason. Can you hold the camera while Mama buck you? Can you say good morning? Hey everybody. Can you say how are you? <laughs> how you doing? Yeah. It's time to go. You driving? Yeah? That's how you gonna be driving. Yeah, lean your seat up, baby. No! Who you telling no? Who you telling no? No, no, no. Can you say hi? Can you say hi, everyone? Goodbye. Bye 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 bye. Is that she fit in her seat? She's doing good. Well, can you say bye bye, everybody? Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.